It's where I want to be. Welcome to the home of Wayo. Wayo is a non commercial volunteer run radio station located in Rochester, New York. We have worked for four years building a community forum for artistic expression and innovative ideas. Well, it's been in the works for several years now, but it's making waves in Rochester in more than one way. WAYO 104.3 is a new freeform radio station with a mission to provide expansive musical and cultural expression with its unique programming and personalities. Joining us today is co-founder and operations lead Mike Yates and Rachel de Guzman, president and CEO of 21st Century Arts and station communications lead at WAYO. Thanks for coming on today. Thank you, Tina. First Thank question, you. what does WAYO stand for? Does it stand for something? Uh, sure, it uh, doesn't stand for anything. We were able to choose our call letters and okay. when we are in that process, we came up with a large list. Nothing really jumped out and then WAYO came uh, up as an idea based on Ed McMahon's Heyo and uh, uh, Harry Belafonte's uh, Deo in the Banana Boat song, <laughs> and it just uh, seemed to work. So the greeting is Wayo. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay. And how how did the idea for a station like this come together, and when did it come together? The idea originated in its smallest form, 2010. Uh, kicked around the idea with some friends who were involved in radio mm -hmm. about the idea of starting a station that would provide opportunities to people in Rochester, the greater Rochester area, in mm -hmm. a meaningful way. Um, that idea kind of fell by the wayside for a, a year or so mm -hmm. and was revived in 2012 when um, Someone who I had never actually met in person before, but knew through mutual friends, posted on Facebook about wanting to start a radio station mm. and give all my friends shows. Mm -hmm. So I reached out to him and said, if you're serious, this is something I've been thinking about. He said yes, and almost four years ago to today, we um, met and decided to pursue this idea. Mm -hmm. And a lot of stuff had to happen in between. You can't just go ahead and start a radio station. Um, Rachel, what were some of the, the, the big hurdles that had to be cleared before this could happen? Well, the, I became connected to the station when um, Mike and he w was going around Rochester um, informing different groups of people about um, WAYO and the potential to actually engage the community mm -hmm. in the radio station. I know that I became connected through his outreach to the cultural community. Mm -hmm. And since then, certainly fundraising was one aspect. Um, they had already located a station, I believe, by the time he was going out to um, outreach to people. But all the particulars had to be put in place. Mm -hmm. there, they had to do a lot of training, and um, sure. um, there was a connection to a larger project in um, Philadelphia called the Prometheus Project, where they um, got a, I think it's a trailblazer. A torch um, bear. Torch bear, yes. sorry. <laughs> torch bear um, grant. And a lot of um, leadership through the whole um, FCC process um, and all of that, um, they were assisted with, with that torchbearer um, mm -hmm. program. So there have been many different aspects to that. Where I come in now, um, I guess over a, a year and a half ago, we have been meeting and trying to figure out things and how to connect to grants and mm -hmm. to um, sponsors and underwriters and people to you know fund the station but then there have been um, Mike and a lot of people have been working on putting the team together because there was a lot of technical work that had to go mm -hmm. into creating the station and it's all been done on a volunteer basis with very few exceptions sure. so um, there's a lot of work to put something together but I know that um, I'm very proud of the work that the team has done mm -hmm. and I feel like when I'm in the whale station that I I mean, it's in a commercial radio station, sure. it's really, yeah. with very few resources, they've been able to, um, coming together, create something that's pretty um, mm -hmm. technically 
um, up to up to the um, job of us being sure. able to communicate with the community. Where are you located, and what kind of work did you have to do to to bring the space to where it is today? We're at the Fetter Industrial Park, which is on East Main Street. Mm -hmm. um, we moved into a former recording studio that was there for 26 years, Saxon oh, wow. Recording. And besides the owner of the studio being a friend of ours, um, so having a landlord that um, believed in what we were doing and wanted to see it mm -hmm. succeed, it was the best space we could possibly ask, ask for. Um, laid out perfectly for a radio station mm -hmm. um, and the work to build the studio thankfully didn't involve demolition or construction mm -hmm. but we washed the walls we painted the walls mm -hmm. um, one of the big things was running the cabling for the studio so we pulled the floor up ran the cable put the floor back down recarpeted sure. um, thankfully we have um, two great uh, engineers who are our studio leads max kelly and J jared whetstone who um have done an amazing job to build as rachel said a, mm -hmm. a professional studio and rachel you're very involved in the arts community and um the way of station features a performance space why is that important why is it important to support local artists in rochester well i think that it's certainly we have a lot of as, um, cultural assets in this community mm -hmm. and there are only so many spaces for them to be able to perform and to be able to get their message out especially when you consider a lot of the grassroots organizations mm -hmm. so it's really important to have a space where live performance can happen where live comedy can happen mm -hmm. where live drama can happen this performance space also can be a place where people can be in observation watching the show go on in the studio itself. Mm -hmm. So this, I think that most of our, um, most of the people that are involved at Whale are in some way creative. Sure. Um, they are artists, they're actors, they're comedians, they're musicians, they're people like me who work with a lot of creative people. Mm -hmm. And so it provides another forum for us to be able to amplify the strength of arts in Rochester. Mm -hmm. And that's so exciting to me, someone who does work with a lot of people in the arts. It also allows people like me with my show to be able to um, curate a particular perspective and mm -hmm. bring, cast a spotlight on things that people may not see sure. from the trenches, from someone who actually is participating mm -hmm. in the field. And there are not a lot of opportunities for people to, like me, who don't have a broadcasting experience mm -hmm. to be able to do something like that. And a lot of people do have broadcasting experience, but just imagine a musician who is able to perform at, you know, in our space, but also performs in clubs to then mm -hmm. be able to add that additional element of um, outreach and sure. um, performance in a studio, a radio station. They don't, it, it's a unique opportunity at mm -hmm. WAO. What are some of the other um, programs that are on WAO? Besides what, music? what happens in between? Yeah. Um, well, we, uh, besides having shows that cover the wide range of music, we have comedy shows, mm -hmm. um, whether that's a variety show that books six to eight guests a week and is mm -hmm. very intricately planned sure. to um, more off-the-cuff um, improvisatory uh, comedy shows. We have um, radio drama, you know, original dramatic pieces mm -hmm. that are written um, and, and very carefully constructed um, and produced uh, pieces. We have shows focusing on um, culinary culture. Mm -hmm. We have shows focusing on kind of behind the scenes art organizations, I think and Rachel cycling. Would. Cycling, oh, running. Yeah. Um, we have shows focused on um, specific communities, whether that's mm -hmm. the um, Bhutanese community in Rochester or the East African community in mm -hmm. Rochester. Uh, so there's a really, um, the 
all the things that radio can do so well, all those unique capacities are present with the station. Sure, bringing a lot of different voices to the table. What has the community reaction been so far? Well, I, th I think it's been pretty fantastic. And if you were to go, you know, some of us are loading our, our um, shows up to Mixcloud and um, they're available to, mm -hmm. um, to listen on our website, wayofm.org. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you start looking at the people who are engaging and commenting on the, on the shows and are um, liking, you know, mm -hmm. social media is wonderful in that way sure. because you get metrics right away. Mm -hmm. I see it, the um, impact building, but I was just in New York City and Thomas Warfield was guest hosting on my show. And it really dawned on me what a potential this has also to tell Ross Rochester's story mm -hmm. because I was listening to Thomas's show streaming live in New York City and so all those artists who are producing things in the Wales studio also have the opportunity for to speak locally to our local community but also to to show what great art we have in Rochester beyond our um, local community which yeah. is really exciting. Sounds wonderful. Um, finally Mike or Rachel, both of you, what do you hope, you know, for, for WAYO five years from now? I think we have been building this very thoughtfully and deliberately as something built to last mm -hmm. beyond us. Um, and in five years, we see it as being a integral part of the arts and cultural community in Rochester mm -hmm. as a platform for new work or an amplifier for artists and musicians and entertainers here in Rochester, and um, something that is providing engaging and unique content for years to come. Wonderful. Well, congratulations on your launch. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks so much for coming in today. For more information about WAO, you can listen at uh, 104.3, or you can also stream it live at wayo.org. Thanks for joining us on this edition of CityWise. I'm Tiana Stevens, and we'll see you next week.